Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Downhill in some different parts of the island, going to take a look at a, a brand new beginner system. Beautiful day. So a little follow up to living on solar made easy, which I made a series of over the past few weeks that you all have seen. A good friend of mine was saying that they had a bunch of components they've been saving up for years and they wanted to go ahead and tie up a little system. So this is where we'll start. These are two 325 watt solar panels tied in series for a total of 650 watts. So over the years, besides gathering up those solar panels, they had gathered up this FlexMax 80, which we all know is a fantastic charge controller and and, the inverter that didn't work out. and they had an inverter that wasn't working so they'd watched the series and wanted to know you know how to tie the rest of it up so you'll see a lot of this is the stuff that i use on some of my systems and they they were able to make use of of that kind of a way of configuring it so they just ordered this stuff up on amazon like a lot of us do and they got themselves a new renogy 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and this one actually has a hard wire capability which is one of the reasons they went with it was so in case uh, they want to go ahead and do some hard wiring at some point this one will be capable of doing that they've got the 12 point 8 volt 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate from watt cycle and they got this t tokus breaker there's their shunt battery monitor meter couple of bus bars fuse solar panel isolator switch and we can see on here that they are in float floating and been floating probably most of the day because they haven't had to use this but yeah pretty simple little system right looks good and then they ran their remote control switch for the inverter out to where it's convenient for them to turn it off or on and then at a glance, of course, they can look at their meter and see how full their battery is. And yeah, that's a full battery. So this person is on the grid, as you can see by the power lines up there. And this grid does go down periodically. And they wanted to have some backup system for when that happens or if there was an extended period of time which is why they built their independent emergency backup system so it wasn't even 24 or 48 hours after having that system hooked up and there was actually a power failure so they were able to keep their refrigerator running and also importantly keep their little nursery running and have some water delivery and here you can see they have a multitude of various types of plants and those needed to be watered so they were actually out here watering their little plants in their nursery here when the power or when the water stopped running and they were like what the heck why am i not why am i not getting any water and then they went into the house and realized they were without power and then they were like okay I'm going to use my backup solar system and that's what they did they immediately just went in there ran an extension cord off that Renogy and tied up their refrigerator at the very least to keep that refrigerator running and it wasn't a very long power outage but needless to say they never missed a beat they could keep coming out here and watering their plants and keep their food preserved so yeah at first they weren't exactly sure what was happening when the when the water quit running and then when they did determine that the power was out they just ran an extension cord back to that power strip which ran this water pump storage tank and they were able to keep watering as well as be able to take a shower and then they ran another extension cord from that inverter 
uh, to the refrigerator. So then they had all critical systems up and running on that simple little system, which that's what we're talking about with these little backup systems. We, the grid goes down, you can get back into action within minutes or less. So yeah, very, very simple. 650 watts of panels. And these out here can get by with just laying these on these pallets, which is nice, keeps them up above the ground. Just block them up a little bit higher in the back so the rain rolls off of it real nice, keeps them clean, rolls the leaves off of them for the most part. But even if not, you can just come out here and brush them away. So yeah. Very, very simple, very quick to install, and they had an emergency backup system. So now they're thinking of uh, running more and more things, of course, which is how it goes when you're on solar. Once you get bitten by the bug, you're gonna want more and more. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Just to give you an idea. This was just kind of a follow-up that someone reached out and said, hey, why don't you come down and, and I'll show you what I did after watching that beginner series. So yeah, I ran down here and checked it out, and it's a pretty sweet little system, so pretty nice. So yeah, thanks to them for the invite, and thanks for you guys as always for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Aloha. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day down here. All systems are full everywhere. <laughs>